God's Judgment, August 20th, 2024. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. That's why. So I had told y'all about this. There's one of my neighbors who, who targets me. Um, I ran into him, right? By happenstance, he was targeting me when it was around the corner. So I go to give them some food from one of these charities I get free food from because I didn't. there's some particular thing I didn't want. Duke puts his head down, right? Why? He, he, is, he had broken out. I don't even know what you call them. They look like they too big to be zits. They look like all over his face. I don't know if dude got monkey pox or what. But, but he looked down because he didn't want me to see him. His face was so effed up, y'all, that I wasn't even, I'm like, is that the same person? It, it was my neighbor, but it took me a minute to recognize. So this is how this program doesn't even respect them because the dude obviously doesn't want me to see him in that state. God talks about how your enemies will not even be able to lift their head up in your presence. That was literally the case. But they still got this, this poor guy. I don't really want to say I feel bad for him, but they still got him like he has to get in his vehicle sometimes as I'm coming from jogging or leaving to go jogging. And he still has to be around me now because God loves him and God is merciful to him. When I'm in public, I tend to zone out all of these people. I treat them like they don't exist. So I it's not really I, it is the Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for trying to steal your glory. It's all the Lord. The Most High God makes me focus more on what I'm doing. The Most High God makes me not to be looking. Well, where are they? I know they're out there. And, and of course, apart from the Lord, I'd be spotting them all over the place. I rarely even spot them. The Lord rarely even lets me spot them because the Lord makes me focus on whatever I'm outside doing. It's hard enough to be outside, let alone, and being a T.I., and then you sitting there trying to look at all these people and what they doing. The Lord doesn't allow me to do that. So the Lord's having mercy on him because when he comes out, I recognize his vehicle or the vehicle they gave him, whichever is the case. Because yes, sometimes they will give them a vehicle that they get to use while they're assigned to targeting you. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But I don't see him. So, and I don't go out of my way to be like, oh man, there, there you go, your face is messed up. We are not to take pleasure in the downfall of our enemies or when God punishes them. Quite frankly, because we don't want God to take his judgment off of them, which, we, which God will do. We're not supposed to take pleasure in our enemies' downfall. So that's really the main reason why I don't get happy about it or try to mock them or something. But God is merciful to him because I don't notice him at least I don't have to look at his face and him recognize that I'm seeing his face broke out, whatever the hell he's broke out in. I don't know. But that's God's judgment on him. He can no longer hold it. And sometimes he would hold, he'd walk up and just, you know, trying to look like he was a badass around me. He, he's not doing that now. So um, that's God's judgment. And, and this program, this program is now merciful for them because I know he would rather just target me from his room with the DEWs and the noise and all that stuff. He don't want to be having to be out in public where I have to, he has to let me see his face. And I'm supposed to be the one who's, who's being effed up with this program, but the Lord is bringing that on him. The program don't really care about these agents. God bless.